What is going on, you guys? Welcome to today's video. It's currently like 35, and it's been like snowing off and on all day. Very cold, very crappy, but we did a little partial wash on the wagon yesterday. Look how good this thing's looking. It's actually still very, very dirty, but it looks way cleaner than before. Not bad. Again, I cannot wait till Andy goes through, does this full paint correction, the detail of this car, and get it coated. It's going to look fantastic. I mean, right now, it's not bad. That's pretty uh, mere finish. I mean, I say I washed the car, I soaked the car with foam, pressure washed. I actually touched the car at all, but uh, that's not bad. For no actual touching the car, that's not bad at all. But what I want to show you guys, I was looking in the cars earlier today, and I found a Mark IV cluster, but this one has the uh, little chrome rings, which I think pretty cool. I have the same ones in the Savoy and also in Miley, so I'm gonna pull this apart and uh, pull these out of here, and then probably toss these ones into my wagon at some point. This will be my first time pulling apart a Mark IV cluster, which since it's not actually going in my car, if it breaks, it's kind of okay. I just need the chrome rings out of it to be intact, which looks like in good shape. Also, it's already kind of cracked on the outside, so I'm not sure if this front lens comes off or you go from the back side. We've got four little T15s, maybe. So we'll start there. We're trying to take up the back first and see where that gets us. All right, so we got four T10s in the back. We're gonna pull these off, and this rear cover should come off. And then we'll see if it just pulls the entire cluster out that way, or if we have to pull the front lens off. Probably whenever I do the uh, dash swap in the uh, board to go from the normal dash to the uh, dimple dash, I'll have the cluster out. So I'll pull it apart and toss in the. Uh, the chrome rings it just adds a nice little touch i think to the cluster i also have this silver face cluster out of the bore sedan that's here so maybe we'll do a silver face cluster with the chrome rings in my wagon possibly so there is our rear cover off and will this just pop forward or how does this work let's see oh just like that all right, so there is all of that, and then there is our ring. So for these ones, looks like you gotta go from the back side. So I'll put that over there. They actually come apart really easily. I guess if you wanted to just change this out, you could. So I might not even need the whole entire um, surface cluster. I just probably pull mine off, pull my needles off, looks like, and then just change the, uh, the overlay. That's kind of cool. So there's that. And let's see, are these glued in? Oh, these actually look like they're glued in. At least this one does. I hope they're not glued in. That would suck for me. Does the glass pop out though? It must, because there's not enough room to pop this ring out. So this front cover must come off. But how do I do it without breaking it is the question. Oh, they're 3M taped on. So the ones for the Mark III's that actually pop in, this, at least the center one's glued or uh, taped in. All right, there's our center one there with this little piece of 3M tape on the back. So there's one. I think they're going to break. I can already feel it's gonna break. Maybe not. Oh, there goes a giant chunk. I broke it. Oh, because it doesn't matter now. This is not the correct way to do this. But there it is. So it pops in here, here, and the top, but maybe they glued it in. I don't know. But now we have uh, easy access to our little crumb pieces here. Boom, number two. And these ones. 
Oh, there we go. There we go. All right, so these are just kind of sitting there. I guess you got to glue them down, but there's number three. And we'll get one more. Ah, I am full set of chrome bezels or rings for Mark IV. Now, with mine, I want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. Maybe I heat it out and then put apart. Probably the better way to do it. But in this case, I don't need this one, so it's not a big deal. But we got those. I'll see about swapping my overlay. Actually, no, I don't want to do that because my American one has miles per hour and kilometers, where the European ones only have kilometers, so I kind of don't want to have just that. Um, but we'll see. Either way, the chrome rings will have a nice touch regardless of the, the face, so I think we'll be all set. All right, good morning. So it actually snowed off and on most of the night, but thankfully it's pretty warm in this area still, and by warm I mean like 38 degrees, but no snow actually stayed in the ground, which is super nice, and got some blue sky, a little bit of the sun coming out, so definitely not a bad day. I was almost expecting this to be white everywhere, which I didn't really want coming out. I love seeing snow, but salty rose, and it's just, it gets kind of annoying after a while. But today, got some fun planned. So my friends, the plan for today, this tint, this awful tint is finally going away. I don't like it. And the back window is like super scratched anyway, so it's even harder to see at night. Um, but it's gotta go. I've always been a fan of just no tint, the fishbowl look. It's not everyone's style, but it's mine. And so all of this, and that one over there is already falling apart, but it's gotta go. And today, it's going away. Also, very good news. Yesterday, the powder coat for the calipers finally came in. So Connor's gonna stop by the yard today, pick up the calipers for me, and then hopefully early next week, we'll have those back. If I put the brakes in the car, they do inspection, all kind of fun stuff. But I cannot wait to see the nice big brakes in this car, the painted caliper. It's gonna look so much better. Now, the Patreons are already seen the color, but I'll put it on the screen right here. It's a beautiful, like, metallic ruby red. I wanted to do red, but I wanted to get away from the traditional just glosser, which looks good, but I want to change it up a little bit. Since this car is just gloss black, I wanted the calipers to kind of pop. So beautiful, like, ruby metallic red. It's gonna look so good on this car, I think. All right, so calipers have been picked up. He said probably by the end of this week, we should have the back which is sick but he brought me a test piece in the color look how beautiful that is look at all the flake in there yeah this color is gorgeous and this in there whoo that's gonna pop like crazy no more crustiness but i have that nice fancy red i was really hoping for some sunshine but the clouds rolled in either way though you still get a pretty good idea of how nice this color is Man, it's gonna pop like crazy on the car. Just so much flake in there. Such a beautiful color. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We got a little bit of sun. Let's have to see it again. Woo! Just take it all in, boys. Take it all in. Okay, now we're done. All right, my friends, it is finally time. The moment we've all been waiting for, the tint on the wagon is finally going away. Look at the front side compared to the back. It's just, it's black. You can't see through it at all. And on the back window, all of this is scratched to pieces, so it's super hard to see through at night. And I'm just not a fan of it. So this today is going away and we'll have this around the entire car, which I prefer. And then also in the back, it's already kind of just falling off. I'm hoping it just kind of peels off nicely. Normally I use a steamer to heat up the tent and then peel it off. I don't have that right now. Amazon actually returned it for some weird reason, but I brought my heat gun to hopefully get it hot enough, use my razor blade and get everything off. And we should be good. I'm hoping it just peels off nicely though. Like this one's already falling off. That one's already falling off. We'll have to see about this one and how difficult this is. We do have the, uh, the defrost lines here, but Hopefully it's not gonna be an issue. God, it is so dark. You can't see at all. Like you can kind of see way over there where the light's shining, but like way too dark, way too dark. I'm hyped for this. This is what I want all around. I'm hyped for that.
boys. We are on our way to being completely tent free. It actually came off super easy. Um, I kind of messed up though because I pulled the top layer off of the bottom layer. You want to pull them off together, um, but still it came off all one piece. It wasn't too difficult. It just heated it up and slowly pulled it all off. So now we have to do a bunch more. This one here, I'm going to roll down the wind a little bit, get into this corner right here and hopefully pull both layers off of one and do the whole thing and hopefully one big sheet. Uh, that's the goal. I was so close to having one completely perfect piece. And at the last second, these few pieces got me. We were so close. A little bit of glue residue, only a tiny little bit. But overall, oh, that is so much better. Like, so much better. It looks kind of dark because the rest is still dark, but I promise you, so much better. Yo, this window in the back, is going to suck. First of all, look how bad it is. See all those waves in that? But this guy who retitted it, I mean, he did a good job because there's not even a gap anywhere up here. He got it really nice in there. Not gonna lie. This will be fun. So I've got good news and I have bad news. The good news is this quarter window came off in one nice sheet. That's the good news. The bad news is this piece is already so bad. All of the adhesive had mostly came off of this. And no matter how hot I got it, all the adhesive is uh, still on my window. So I have a lot of razor scraping to do, but at least uh, this was easy. This is going to suck a lot. And I got it super, super hot, but almost all the adhesive had already come off of this. So no matter how hard I tried, even like scraping it so it would be like even with the tint when it was coming off, um, it just all separated. So that'll be fun. But hey, making progress. Making progress. Look at that. Off in one complete piece. Another window done. We are down to just the rear hatch and we shall be completely tint free. This one came off super smooth and so did the other quarter glass on that side. Um, this one you guys saw, there's still a whole bunch of residue on there. I got a lot of it off, but I want to waste all my time scraping and run out of time today. Uh, this one came off pretty smooth and a handful of residue was left. You can see some of it there and some of it over there, but a little bit of cleaning will take care of that. But we are on to our final section, which is the rear hatch. Look how dark that tin is, dude. Like way too dark, way too dark. So I'm gonna get way in a corner somewhere, cut it like I've been doing, uh, push it out to the side, and then hopefully get a nice big sheet across the entire thing. And hopefully it's just as simple. I really hope it doesn't do this because that sucked. And I want to be able to see <laughs> out of this window. I think it'll be good. There's a bunch of scratch. I don't even tell on camera or not, but there's a whole bunch of scratches on this tent. So hopefully this goes well. The back window sucked, but all of the tint is gone in a big pile over here. There she is. So what I learned with this one and also this one, I was peeling off the tint and as you can see the residue, like the glue adhesive um, was staying on there. But I, if I got it like super, super hot to the point where the tint was actually like melting, I'm gonna take off some of the adhesive as well. But what I found out is I brought this with me just some basic Windex and I brought a sponge with a nice like a uh, gritty side to it. This sprayed on, you can see what I've done so far. I've done this section. The back window itself is dirty, but like you can see it's clear through here. You can see the uh, the residue over here. Surprisingly enough, 
uh, spray this on, use this, and just like lightly wipe it, and it comes right off. So I'll use this for that window, this window, and we're good. It's gonna look so much better. A little bit of work, but I'm very glad to have uh, no tent in this car. She's already looking a million times better. That fishbowl life forever. I just love it. Look at that, you can see clean through the car now. Before it was just a black wall. So I'm gonna go through, clean all the windows real fast, and then uh, we're good. We are good. And I didn't destroy any of my defrost lines. I was kind of scared to have to go through like razor blade all this, but thankfully this is working, so we're all set. All right, so woo, woo this car looks so good. So I went through, cleaned all the back windows that the tin off of, and then I went through, cleaned the front window and the driver's side and passenger inside and out for the entire car. And holy crap, dude, night and day difference. This car looks. Look at this. Look at look at this. Look at that clean window gang, no tint. Oh, it's beautiful. Dude, this car changed so much. By having blacked out windows in the back to now crystal clear all around. Like I said, I cleaned every window inside and out and the car is just looking amazing. Now the paint, she's still dirty. It snowed yesterday, she's very dirty, but I can't wait to have the paint look like the window. This, this car, it's gonna get so good so fast. The no tint life, I'm about it. I am all about the no tint life. Crystal clear, you can see right through it. My absolute favorite. Whew, so, a little bit of work today. Some, uh, some elbow grease, but hey, completely worth it. The car looks absolutely amazing. Oh yeah. I love it absolutely love it so like i said this week hopefully have the calipers back uh from conrad from powder coating put the brakes on the car and probably maybe by the end of this week or early next week have the car to inspection and hopefully it passes the first try and then we can do the coilovers um, and the rest of the bits for the car i just love this thing it's getting so good so fast absolute beauty and again the no tint life clean window gang no tint see straight through the car that's the way I like it. Whew, just gets me excited. Final step of the day, we take this trash and put it right where it belongs. Right in there. Let me show you guys the best part about the no tip life. Ready for this? When you're sitting in your car and you look back and you just have all of the visibility doesn't get any better than that this car honestly feels 10 times bigger now it's so nice look at my shoulder i'm able to see out this window look at my rear view mirror and actually see out of my back window the no tent life is just the life for me all right we are finally back home where is my light there she is okay been a very long day very cold day snowed off and on three or four times but overall super productive day man the wagon is looking so so good again we should hopefully have the calipers back probably this coming up week and then i uh, just continue the progress on this beautiful wagon she's just looking better and better hope you guys enjoyed today's video do not forget be thankful for every single day we'll see you guys next time peace